All right, so in this video, I'll be unboxing 15 different Amiibos for my collection. Um, link will be in the description for the, my last Amiibo um, video, which was with all my collection, minus a few that I missed, but. All right, before I start, I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. and on Sunday at 9 a.m. Please come check me out in the link in the description. Um, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you don't. Hit the subscribe button and turn bell notification on so you get notified when I upload new videos. All right, so I started collecting Amiibos a while back. Um, so I'm, I got some that I needed or in some that just came out. So like uh, Ivysaur, Ivysaur, Snake, uh, Squirtle, and the Link from Link's Awakening, the remake for Link's Awakening. Um, and then the Splatoon ones. I actually don't own Splatoon 2. I need to get that. Um, or not, because it's probably out of date now. But so I'm gonna start with categorizing the ways I'm gonna probably open these. So the Yoshi ones I'll open at some point. So I'll put those together. And then these came out together, so I'll put those together. All right. So these are the batches I'm gonna open them in. So these are the Animal Crossing ones. I don't actually play Animal Crossing, but my wife likes it, I think. And these will be useful when she actually plays Animal Crossing. And I probably will check out the new one and maybe some of the other ones that are on, that are on Wii and on the 3DS. So let's open these guys up. Try to keep that away from the mic so it's not too loud. And I try to um, take off the, all of the paper so I can recycle it and stuff, or the cardboard. All right, so there's a little pink bird named, what is its name? Celis, Celis, Celis? So let me know down in the comments how to say this little owl's name. And then you got what? Cap'n? Kippen? Cap'n. I like Cap'n more. He's a little like frog, I think. So you got the little, little guys. One more with the uh, another owl. Blather, blathers, blathers. Let me know how to say that. Most of these are usually you know easier to say, but. Try to get it a little farther away so it's not too loud. We got little, so these little guys. All right, so now that I've got Animal Crossing out of the way, let's move those to the side. And let's do some uh, Splatoons. So this is the Inkling Boy, which is like a blue one, which I think there's multiple of the boys, which I might've just bought the same ones, but I think I needed the green squid guy, or they're different. Nope, I just bought the same ones. Oh well. So I got duplicates, but oh well. I kind of like collecting these little figurines. That one was nice, it didn't make a noise. It wasn't so uh, put together like the other ones. So there's the Inkling Boy. So the next is the Inkling Girl, which looks like it's a duplicate, which is, will be in this three pack that I have, but I'll still open it. See, they're just falling apart. So 
So there's the orange inkling girl. So that looks like these are the same. I thought they were different, but they look they look the same. But we'll open this guy up as well. I found this one after I already bought those two, so I guess I could have returned them, but I don't remember where I bought those or if I still have the receipt. So I have duplicates of other ones as well, so it's not too big of a deal. Oh, I like that. They didn't make them as like loud and put together. Maybe it's because they're older. All right, so there's two of those, which look identical. And then there's this green um, squid guy. I actually don't know what they're called. Inkling, I don't know. Just a different form, I think. I don't know. But I do own the first game. I need to play through it. All right, so we'll do Link's Awakening next. Link from Link's Awakening. A little cute little guy, like claymation almost, is what he looks like in the game. He doesn't look so much in this, but. Oops. Yeah, so there's a little claymation kind of style of Link. So I really like what they did with uh, Link's awakening style, so that's nice. So let's go on to Squirtle, which I actually know how to pronounce because, you know, Pokemon. Sorry if these are too loud, I'm trying to keep the mic away from it. So Squirtle is really cool because he's attached by the tail and like by shell with a little see-through thing, which is really cool. Um, I like the detail of the little amiibos. So Snake, so I've never actually played any of the Metal Gear Solid games. <laughs> okay, let me know down in the comments how much you guys hate me now. Uh, I need to play through some of them. I need to buy some of them. I've heard they're really fun, so. Starting a really big stack of garbage over here. So that's nice. Um, you guys didn't see that. <laughs> All right, so this is a snake and he's, they put a lot of these um, like clear things on these amiibos for certain reasons. I think it's so that they aren't as, as flimsy as some other ones, as some other statues and stuff, which is really cool. Makes them very high quality and they don't break easily. So it's that Nintendo quality. Let's move these. So I've got more space to line them up. I'll try to give more space because I still have the Yoshis to go through. That one wasn't as bad. So then you got Ivysaur, which is really cool. Um, I saw a thing on Twitter of one that was like upside down, which was kind of cool. Too bad I didn't get that one, but I like this. I like the detail. I know my wife think, wishes it was uh, Bulbasaur because she likes Bulbasaur, but all right. So now you got the Yoshis. So the Yoshi ones are more of an issue to find. They're selling for a good amount of money and I'm just gonna open them. So, and they're not the same. They don't have the same type of style. Like these are yarns. So let's open this green one. So it comes with a little platform. I don't know if you actually need the platform or if that's for the security, you know, so you can't use it without opening it. It looks like it might be taped. Yeah, it's taped. So you can't 
use it. And it looks like it has a little tag that it's taped to. So let's undo that. Oh, right there. So that's a little cute thing. So I'll keep this in relatively good condition in case my wife wants it. So let's just set that right there. So this is really cool too. Really nice. It says Amiibo at the bottom. So I'm guessing that's where the, um, the electronics are to make it a scannable object. Yeah, it's a little hard right there. So that's really cool. I like, you also hang him. There's a little uh, thing to hang him in case you want to actually like hang him up as like a keychain almost. So that's really cool. So that's the green one. So I'm assuming these will just be the same, just different colors. And they don't seem to have different names, just the color. So same thing. Yeah, these look like they're the same thing or they're taped here. So all you have to do is just try to push out the tape a little bit. Just like that. Got the little guy out. Again, I'll leave that side. I don't know if my wife wants it or not for the little stands. But pink one, same thing. Got the little thing to hang up from and it's a really cool amiibo. I like it. I like it a lot. I might get like a plastic box to put them in because these I think would discolor a lot easier than the normal ones because they are made out of yarn. So I might find like a, maybe a display box or something to put the yarn ones in. Cause I also want to get the other two, which are the the dog, which I don't remember his name, and then the, the yar, big yarn Yoshi, but they're more expensive. But I think they'll be worth it, and that may be a good surprise for my wife. So, but she might kill me for spending as much as they are right now um, on an amiibo. But they're a little cute, a little cute amiibos. All right, so that's all of the amiibos that I had. Um, that I've gotten just in the last few days. Um, some of them came out new, some of them I needed to collect so that I have them in my collection. Um, I obviously I got duplicates, so if anyone ever wants Amiibos, I might give them away to like friends or something. But so, like I said at the beginning of this video, I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. and on Sunday at 9 a.m. Uh, please come check me out. I'll be playing games on the Switch, different types of mini systems like the Genesis or the SNES, uh, the Xbox, the PS4, all types of game systems and games. And we can talk about collections, Amiibo collections, uh, retro game collections, whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, because that seems to work too. Um, hit the subscribe button and turn the bell notifications on so you get notified when I upload new videos. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.